introducing you to someone really special today. And here to tell us a little bit more is Connie Phillip, who's brought along Drake. And you've also got some great fall safety tips when it comes to our pets, Connie. I do. Um, first and foremost, Drake here. Um, I'm really thrilled he's slowing down a little bit. <laughs> he's, a, he's an eight-month-old lab cur mix. If, if you like to go hiking or running or bike riding, this would be the partner for you. Yeah. He, he would not ever slow down and get tired. He could go, go, go. Um, he, he loves food, very food motivated. <laughs> As we can see. <laughs> and easy, you know, easily enough, he could be trained. Come here, around. Sit, sit. Connie, he's still very young, uh, so that's why you're saying he's, uh, he's definitely one of those dogs that you can train. He's very young, full of energy, so if you're looking for a partner to go out and do some outdoor activities, he's a perfect <laughs> guy for you. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his little hedgehog. <laughs> He's got his little squeaky toy with him, and he does love those treats. And Connie, we're going to talk about some fall safety tips for him. We're going to have um, sure. we're going to have him taken out of the studio for a bit. He needs to go on a little walk. He's a little hyper. He's like, I am not sitting still at this studio any longer. So he's going to go for a walk. Connie, really important right now as we switch the seasons to make sure that our pets are being safe. Um, well, first, you know, it's, it's just like the summer where you've got too much heat when you get into the really cold, cold parts from fall into winter. Um, for those outside dogs, they, they should have a house. Um, add hay in there. Okay. Give them some insulation. or uh, And make sure it's up off the ground at least enough that water or rain won't get in there uh -huh. and, and keep them cold. Um, ideally for the really, really, when it gets really bad, make sure that you uh, have a, a safe area to bring them in. Um, I've utilized heat lamps for my barn cats and they always curl up right underneath them so they know, they know how to find that Yes, stuff. absolutely. And speaking of warmth, also um, maybe growing out their coats. I know for the summer, usually you're cutting your, hair, your dog's hair, keeping it pretty short and trimmed. But for the fall and winter, definitely time to let them grow it out a little bit. Absolutely. A lot of dogs are doing what I say is uh, blowing coat, which means they're getting, shedding out their summer coat and getting ready for all that heavy winter coat. Sure. Let it happen. Um, they need all that hair. I know it's a pain to vacuum, but there's some really great vacuums I, um, that <laughs> help get all that dog hair up. Yes, absolutely. And especially with the holidays coming up, um, Connie, that means we're going to have decorations, whether it's on our front mm. porch, inside our house. Very important to be safe when it comes to decorations and our dogs kind of running around able to get a hold of them. Yeah. Um, I see, uh, you know, just whether it's the glass or the plastic, any of that, if they ingest it in any way um, because their tail knocks it off yeah. the tree, um, you have to be careful. Or if you have a young puppy like that where they're going to uh, just, they want to investigate. I've, I've seen trees where all the decorations are up high. Yeah. <laughs> I love those trees because yeah. I think, it, you know, they really love their animals and but they keep them safe yes absolutely and also another part of being safe is making sure that we're careful with holiday treats kind of yep. maybe not such a great idea to share some of those treats with the dogs maybe yep. stick to just doggy treats absolutely um sugar it, it's not that great for us mm -hmm. and it's not that great for them and obviously a lot of us know about chocolate being yeah. uh, toxic to dogs but things like onions and raisins so if you're making your Thanksgiving dinner and you know you've got onions involved mm -hmm. in it don't feel like you need to offer all that right. stuff uh, it's it's definitely it's better for their digestive system to to keep it normal and the same stable yes absolutely guys Drake is available for adoption so make sure that you go to DeSoto PA ac.com you're going to be able to find him there along with a, a lot of other dogs and cats that are avail available for adoption um, and also a lot of people folks think that the fleas and ticks and mosquitoes go yeah. away in the winter there's you know we're in a southern state there's a, you know a lot of this stuff and it's been a wet Mm -hmm. summer and yes, it's it raining today <laughs> um, it, there's those things can still live longer so continue on your preventatives okay. um, there are some cases where uh, some dogs have shown up with heartworm half, you know because somebody stopped thinking oh there's no mosquitoes out right now but and then they get bitten by that mosquito yep. and ticks and fleas you know they're going to go to that heat source they, okay. they they sense that if your dog's running through any of, of the lower brush and bing, 
<laughs> so we, de we definitely want to still t take care of that as we move into the fall. Absolutely. Yes. And thank you so much, Connie, for being with us today. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys, there's the information right there on your screen. And we'll be right back. There's more Loving Living Local after the break. Don't go anywhere.